Hi, I'm Mike from Michaels Motor Cars in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, and very excited to bring a car to bring a trailer. Come on over and take a look at it. This will be a slightly longer video because I have so much to tell you about this car. This car we purchased from the estate of Robert Spar. Uh, he lived in York County, Pennsylvania, and he was a very avid and active Lotus person. Uh, this car is a 1993 Caterham Super 7. It is the HPC model, so it's the high performance model, even in Lotus Caterham terminology. I will come back to that because the car is just ideally suited for either high performance driving on the street or tracking the car. I'd like to take a minute though and show you Bob originally ordered the car and bought it from Alderman, which was a mid-Atlantic region Lotus Caterham dealer, well known, well known in the racing community. He never actually registered the car when we purchased the car. It was still on Delaware original sales receipt from Alderman. So this is truly a one owner car, as good as you get. When he ordered the car and he put it together as a kit himself, uh, Bob, he was an engineer. What's odd about the car is the engine configuration that it has, and I'll come back to this and show you the motor. This car has the 165 horsepower 2 liter 16 valve Cosworth Vauxhall motor, also Ford Sierra XR4 Ti. So it is one of the best motors you can get for this car, arguably. It is fuel injected with Bosch Motronic. It also has a 5 speed manual transmission, a DD on rear and it has a Sierra limited slip in the back. So Bob, who was a true Lotus aficionado, specifically ordered this car. Alderman was really kind of surprised uh, that this motor came into the country. Uh, these motors were not common in this car. He also ordered the car with the full interior complement. So it has the upholstered seats, it has carpeting, he does have racing harnesses, full racing harnesses. They are out of date. These are from 1995. So if you're going to do serious racing, of course, you would need to update the harnesses. I do vintage racing myself, and I'm really excited to drive this car. Uh, I haven't driven it yet on the street or in a parking lot, and I just, it's, it's going to be thrilling. The overall condition of the car is very, very nice, very clean. It's all original paint. All the trim and everything is very nice on the car. It is showing 4,764 miles. Bob mostly used the car, it appears, for track events. I, it, I don't know if he seriously raced it or not. We have records of him being at Summit Point. Uh, he did Lotus 7 events there. Um, so they are mostly track miles. Uh, I think he drove it on the street a little bit, but mostly trailered it. When we got the car, it had old track tires on it. We put a brand new set of street Kumos, which are brand new, we just put them on. Going back here, I just wanted to lay out and show you, we have all the equipment that comes with the car. So you can take this car if you really want to, you can drive it year round. It has a full top, we have side wings, we have the side windows, extra set of tail lights. I assume you roll things up into the seven bag, we have a tonneau cover. This has never been used. In fact, all of this has never been used. It's brand new and never been used. Tonneau cover needs to have its snaps installed. And he has two covers. He has two of these to go on the back of the car by the roll bar. He also has, which I found really kind of interesting, in a brand new Lotus 7 bag, a luggage rack, which I find very amusing. It's like an old MGTC. You can put your luggage there and go on a long distance cruise, which that would be kind of interesting. Do a bring a trailer story about it. It also has a full heater, blower motor in the car, and all of that works. Has a megaphone exhaust. As we come around to this side of the car, about the only cosmetic defect on the car, it has a lot of stone chips from the inside of the fiberglass. So there is starring in the fiberglass didn't go through the paint, but it's there. And I do believe it's all original paint. So that's the only cosmetic defect, and that's because good stuff is on. Come around to the front again. As I mentioned, this engine was rated at 165 horsepower. It's a 16 valve motor. 
We do have the Bosch Motronic. This car, for unknown reasons, Bob really stopped the whole car hobby back around 2002 or so. And this car had been sitting undercover in his garage all that time. So when we purchased it, we carefully brought it back to life. We installed a new battery in the car. We installed a new fuel pump, a new fuel sending unit. This motor is the type, essentially a racing engine. We, we dropped the oil pan on it, and this had the foam in the oil pan, so you don't get oil cavitation in, in hard turns. So we, before we even started the engine, we dropped the pan and replaced all of the foam in the oil pan. So that's just been done. Of course, we changed all the fluids, flushed out the radiator. He did add a header and a flow-through exhaust, so this car is probably putting out a little more than 165 horsepower. And again, combined with the five-speed, the limited slip rear, uh, it's just a perfect combination. Bob was an engineer, spent a lot of time, I see in his notes, he was dialing in the suspension. I believe, I would anticipate this car is a well-set-up track car. It ran beautifully. Uh, and once we got all the work done to it, it started right up. It's eager to go on some rides. Please ask us any questions you have about this interesting car. We will be selling it on a clean Pennsylvania title. Uh, that's where we sell all of our cars. Um, it does have its identity plate, which is correctly mounted. All the numbers match on this car. I verified everything with Alderman, who is, of course, the seller of the car. So if you're looking for a well-cared-for, well-sorted-out Lotus Super 7. It is the HPC model. Uh, it's about as good as it gets. Uh, please consider this car and ask us any questions. We're really excited to see how this car will do. And personally, I'm just really excited to drive this thing and see what it's going to be like. Thanks for taking the time and looking at our car.